Here I have my 2009 Cadillac SRX4. What we're going to do tonight is unlock it with a high-tech tools lockout tool. Um, right here's the button. Just a pop-up button on these. So I'm going to push it down, and now it's in the lock position. The way this works is right under that button there's a rod. The rod comes down and angles back towards the back of the vehicle to the latch mechanism. So what we're going to use is my wedge and my strip saver. The strip saver goes in behind the weather stripping, and then the wedge goes behind that to wedge the door out just a little bit to create an opening for the tool. This vehicle calls for the S tool or the vertical linkage tool. Kind of like a glorified Slim Jim, I guess. I've got a rubber tip on this end here to help grab the rod so it doesn't just... Sometimes when you get on the rod, the tool just wants to slide up and down the rod rather than grabbing a hold and, and opening it. So that little rubber tip helps to grab the, to grab the rod. So what we're going to do is put the tool in, come over towards the button, move the tool in a little bit into working position, and we're unlocked, just like that. Um, this tool works really well on these uh, vertical linkages like this. Um, like I said, that was just a few seconds, but I've been doing this for several years, so it's not that easy at first. So what I'm going to attempt to do now is carry the laptop over to my workbench so I can show you the book and the tool a little better. And uh, carefully, I'm having problems with it. Want to disconnect? Okay, so here we are. Here is my high-tech manual. This tells you how to unlock them. It's a great big, as you can see, it's a big old thick book. 2009-2010 lockout manual. Open it up here. It's got 2004 to 2009 Cadillac SRX. Uses the S tool number 47. Insert a strip saver. This book kind of walks you through how to do it. Insert the tool into the door and lower just beneath the door handle. Twist tool to hook and bind the door lock rod. Lift the tool. It gives you a little picture. Diagram the tool. And a little picture of the car. Tool in the working position, or insertion position, sorry, and tool in working position. So, and kind of step by step, I'll just pick another one at random here. There's a 2003 to 2007 Saturn Ion, the tool it calls for. I've got a set, I've probably got about 100 and 100 ish tools, I guess. Um, here's another popular tool. This unlocks a lot of them. I guess this tool right here, the silver tool, tool number 23. And the S tool are the two that I use the most around here. But I mean, it just goes through everything from semis to infinity, just everything is in this book. Um, with step by step instructions on how to unlock it, things to watch out for. Here's another popular method, or I guess tow truck drivers use this one a lot. And it's not bad, it's just I don't think it looks as professional wedging out a door like that. And when they do this, they normally have you sign a, web, a waiver first, saying if they mess something up, they're not liable for it because it can bend the door or the door frame. But um, use an air wedge and pump the door out, then use a long reach tool to go in and manually pull the button. So that's just another method. Um, here's a. I'll try to get a better shot of this tool. I can't get the whole tool in there. So. Oh, there it is. You can see why they call it the S tool because the S shape there hook on both ends so I was going to start doing a few of these lockout videos to show you how some of the more common types like that one was the uh, like I said the vertical linkage tool the next one I'll do is the horizontal linkage tool where you have the little toggle button up front that takes that silver tool I showed you that one I use a lot in fact, it stays up front in, my, in the service vehicle because it's used so much. And like it's showing in the picture here, you've got, instead of a vertical pop-up, you've got the horizontal rods. And that hook goes down onto 
the rod, you put it in a little bit of a bind, instead of pulling it up, you push it forward towards the front of the vehicle and you're unlocked. So uh, that's it for tonight, uh, 2009 Cadillac unlocked with the uh, high-tech tools. So uh, if you have any suggestions or a certain vehicle, not that I'd be able to find that certain vehicle to unlock it, but something you're having problems with or something you want to know how to unlock or want me to look up in the book for you, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.